All righty. Hi, everyone. Hope you're well. Just making sure you're on mute for me, please. And we will get cracking very shortly. So tonight, uh, again, we are going to be working uh, on a bit of strength, but I'm going to build in a little bit of extra cardio tonight. So you don't need a lot of space, but if possible, you will still need your foam roller, your mini band if you've got it nearby. And if possible, if you have a couple of cones, just a couple of cones, we're just going to do some defensive slide work, a little bit of conditioning once we're warmed up. So if you've got a couple of cones or something nearby, just some reactionary stuff, which could be a bit of fun. And participants, highlight myself. All right, guys, I should be nice and big there now for you guys. As always, we are going to kick things off with some mobility. How is everyone? So can you just give me a quick thumbs up? Make sure everyone can hear me okay. Yep, 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 everyone's all good. Beautiful, good numbers tonight, guys. I hope you're well, the weather's shocking, so that's no good. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better for, for tomorrow night's uh, session with Serade. Okay, so firstly, ankle mobility. I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on mobility tonight, not too much. We're gonna work on it a lot tomorrow morning as well in body and mind. So ankle mobility, we're 10 centimeters away from our foam roller. We're just bringing our knee into touch, okay? You can do this, you can do this using the wall as well, okay? I'm not gonna turn around and face the wall because you won't be able to see what I'm doing. We're just bringing that knee into touch and getting that stretch for our Achilles there. All right, so we're just gonna do five on either leg. We're just gonna extend it out a little bit tonight. Five on either leg, try and keep your heel down for me, please. And then swapping legs. We're in this lunge position. And again, we're just keeping the mobility in that, that, that soleus muscle, the bottom of your calf that attaches to your Achilles there. You can do this standing as well if anyone wants to do this throughout the day. You can use your hands to apply a little bit of pressure too to the top of your knee. Um, that can sometimes help a little bit as well. And we're just getting that making sure we've got mobility for our ankle in that nice sharp shin ankle, uh, shin angle, I should say. Now we're gonna go into our Spider-Man squat. I'm just gonna make sure you guys can see enough of my screen there. So we're into our squat. So again, we bend our hips, bend our hips, so we touch our toes. Bend our hips, try and keep your back straight as much as you can. If you can't get to your toes, that's okay. Just bring your, bring your uh, fingers underneath your toes, bend your knees to get a bit lower. And then once we get to this bottom position, we want to be in a nice deep squat, okay? I want you guys to get pretty comfortable in this sort of squat position. I know most of you are, you're, you're pretty young and mobile still. But try and get sort of comfortable in this bottom position and not just resting here necessarily, but actually feeling around, sort of feeling around in your hips. This is a really, really basic kind of primal position for us that we don't really get to very often as athletes. Um, now you're never gonna be in this position, I wouldn't have thought on a basketball court, but it's still really important in terms of mobility. And we'll touch on that a little bit tomorrow in our body and mind session, the mobility, but not just sitting, like I can sit down here with my, you know, on my toes, but I'm sitting down nice and low on a squat and I can sit relaxed, um, but actually coming to this position and understanding what muscles help us get in and out of these positions and being able to actually trigger them and figure out how they activate when we're in these low positions, all right? So now we're just applying some gentle pressure on the inside of our knees, pushing out slightly. And we're gonna keep our left hand under our toes and turn our right arm up and look at the sky like Spider-Man hanging upside down, shooting a web. Couple of deep breaths here. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And then down and hand under my right foot now, under my right toes, and I'm gonna turn and look up. So our knee should be nice and wide, turning and looking up at our left hand now. Very good. And we're gonna come back. All right. So mobility, now just a little bit of activation. Uh, we do it. I know Abby likes to do it as a part of our hoop set, uh, hoops fit session, but we're going to do it tonight as well. And we're into our inchworms, okay, or our walkouts. So we're just adding to that a little bit. We're going to touch our toes again. 
We're walking our hands out, okay? So I don't want you to cheat this one. It's not a race. Walking your hands out to your into the top of a push-up. So we start to warm up our upper bodies a little bit as well. And then we're just tippy-toeing, tippy-toe until, and you can go up on your fingertips if you have to, try and keep your legs straight for as long as you possibly can, and then stand up, okay? I want everyone to do five of those. So I call those inchworms, I want you to do five of those. So you tippy-toe, so you walk your hands out. Good guys, you walk your hands out. You can do a push-up if you like. And then you're just on the balls of your feet, tippy-toe, tippy-toe, until you get your, your feet all the way up to your hands. Try not to bend your knees, Zave. So try and keep your knees straight as long as you can, because it's a bit of core, and it's a little bit of hamstrings as well. If you can't bend, your, if you can't get your hands all the way down to touch your toes, that's when you can bend your knees. But let that be guided by your hamstring mobility, so, so that you know as a bit of a guide. Good, guys. That's good. good job, Fletch. Good, Zach. Good job, good job, good job, Jack. See your puppy there just surveying you, making sure you're doing it properly. That's good. It's nothing better than a dog personal trainer. Mine's locked away tonight because she doesn't train me. She pretty much just tries to chew my legs, but I might let her out a bit later on. Okay, good job, guys. Keep working. Next one we've got is our, is our mini bands. Make sure too, guys, you get your drink bottle somewhere nearby because if you need to grab a drink, you can just grab a drink in your own time. All right, so mini bands, chuck that around the ankles. Around our ankles. And we're gonna do our mini band series. All right, so you guys know this series pretty well by now. Okay, you know this series pretty well. So we're just out for 10 slides. Okay, two sets. Okay, so if I go five, and then I run out of space, okay, I go through that twice, I stay. I'm nice and low, I'm down in stance, my glutes are activated, my lower back is straight, I push off again. That's it, really good guys. That's one set, so I come out of that quickly, shake it out a little bit, I'm gonna do a second set. So make sure our glutes are activated because we've got some glute stuff we're going to work through tonight. Here we go, second set. Good job, stay down low, guys. Good. Excellent. Uh, once you finish that, we're going to do our jabs. We're going to do our jab step. Do our jab step. So basically from here, again, we've got a nice solid base. Okay, so I don't want to see feet together like this. All right, this is never really a position in basketball with our feet together, even with our knees bent. Our feet are always at least hip distance apart in basketball. All right, so really important we get used to that. Knees are bent, hips are bent. We're down pretty low and we're just ripping across our body. Okay, and we're jab stepping. I'm going to go 10 on my right foot. And 10 on my left foot. Here we go. Stay down low. You can rip as if you've got the ball from here and you're ripping from almost like shoulder and you're putting that, putting it in your pocket. So you're ripping across like you're, like you're about to take off on the dribble to your right. And then we alternate like we're ripping across. You can rip, you know, imagine that you're ripping from triple thread. If you've got a basketball and you want to hold it, please do. Uh, ripping across our body to our left. That's our take off to the left there. We're on the ball of our back foot. Great work. 10 on each leg. Awesome. Good job, guys. And we've got our reverse. We've got our kickback. Girl Cody, you got a medicine ball there. That's impressive. That is impressive. Hold well up. So now we've got our kickback. So 10 on each leg. We're just kicking straight back, squeezing that glute. Oh, you do have a is that a med ball or a basketball? <laughs> Good job. So we're kicking back now. So it's just straight back for 10 on each leg. So really activating that glute, getting really good like hip extension through that leg that kicks back, which is causing that glute to really flex hard. Okay, that's the muscle we want to use. That's the muscle we want to take over when we get that extension in our hips. Once you've done 10 on your right, flip it over, do 10 on your left. work. Good 
Great job. All right, done with our mini band series. So you can chuck the mini bands off. So if we've got, I don't think we've got many 16s or 18s in here tonight, but guys, if any of you need resistance, okay, if you want to use resistance, oh, Liam, we might have Liam. Uh, if you guys want resistance for any of these movements, please, uh, you know, please use common sense. But if you've got dumbbells or you've got kettlebells, I, I've got a, a dumbbell here. Oh, I, sorry, a kettlebell. I'll show you how I'm going to use it for these movements. The first movement we haven't done it in a little while as a part of this session. We're going to add it into tonight's session. Uh, is, a, is an arabesque, so a single leg movement. All right. If you're doing this with some resistance, okay, in the form of a light dumbbell or light kettlebell or whatever you've got, have it in the same hand as the foot that stays on the ground. Okay, so for those that haven't done arabesques before, I'm going to go through it. All right, single leg. All right, so I'm going to start on my right leg. I, I like to start with my left knee up. So if I've got my right, my right leg on the ground, I like to start with my left leg up and then I kick my foot back as my, as my upper body rotates forward and I point my chest to the ground. See how I make a nice straight line from the top of my head all the way to my heel. So my, I'm not letting my legs sag like that. Okay, that's not having the same effect, all right? So whilst this is the working leg, okay, whilst my grounded leg, my right leg is working hard, I still need to keep that left leg active, all right? We're gonna do six of those on each leg. Again, if I'm working my right leg, so I'll turn around so it's, face, it's the closest to the camera, I've got the weight in my right hand, okay? So I bring my knee up, I kick my left foot back, I feel that tension in my right hammy, I feel that stretch in my right glute, but my left glute is still active, okay? And then I swing through and I come up and finish with my knee. Six on either leg, guys. I'm going to keep an eye on you. Two sets, six on either leg. Good job. Swing that leg through and finish off. Good. Make sure that leg, if you need something to hold as well, there's no, that's, that's fine. If you need to, to balance, you can use a wall. Okay, you can use a rail. Whatever you need. But ideally, we would get to a point where you're pretty comfortable doing this without needing to hold something to balance. So we need to get this to a point where we're able to just focus on a dot on the ground, and we're able to just kick back, come all the way down. You can even go wide arms. If you don't have resistance, you can go arms forward, arms out to the side, or you can go arms forward like a Superman and swing through and up. Single leg. Yes. Yep. Do we do two sets of that or do we just do one set? Two sets of six on each leg. Okay, thank you. So have, have a quick break in between and then go again. No worries, girls. Good job. I like how you're using each other for balance too. I like it. Make sure your torsos are still coming down. I know it's hard if you're using each other for balance, but you, you really want to make sure that torso is still coming to the point, hopefully where it's pointing to the ground. Okay, that's, that's where we want to get to now. But, you know, just work within your range of motion, work within your ability. It's going to be a little bit hard. It's a really good balancing exercise. Good. Try and keep your back straight as well. Don't, like, don't come down so low that you have to sort of curve in your lower back. That's good, Jack. That's fine. Yeah, that's good, Zach. Perfect. Using your foam roller. Good, Riley. Yeah, keep that. Keep that leg that's in the air nice and active, Riley. Don't let it dangle there. Keep it real strong, kick it up. So you're trying to get that heel to the roof almost by just squeezing that glute, that's good. Good job, Chase. Good, good guys. So second set, we should be. And same thing, just watching. I can't tell which one of you it was, me or Amelia, one of you just fell over. That's okay. <laughs> the beauty of it is try and imagine, I don't mind if you fall over, that's okay. But try and imagine like you've got a bowl of water resting on your lower back. It is hard to balance, but try and imagine because we don't want to get to a point where I'll do one with, with my back to the camera. We don't want to get to the point with these where we're like this, or we're having to tilt our hips over like that to stay balanced. Okay, we want to keep, even though we're on one leg, we want to split our weight evenly, okay? because that's a really, really important skill in basketball. When we're on a single leg, 
we're able to actually balance and split our weight evenly, distribute it evenly, so that we don't fall over. Good job, guys. Keep working. Grab a drink if you're done. Two sets of six on each leg. And then we're going to go into another movement that I'm going to introduce to you guys tonight as well. So it's like a single leg, um, sort of like a single leg squat, but with balance. That's a lateral movement. Good job, guys. Excellent. Okay. So the next one, those that are still doing their arabesque, just finish it off. That's a good movement. Okay. This one's called like a lateral lunge. Um, I was actually taught it was called a Cossack squat. So it's named after a strength coach. So I'll show you guys me facing the camera and then I'll go side on to show you what it looks like as well. But essentially, if I start just standing upright and I step out nice and wide to my right, I keep my toe pointing pretty, pretty well straight forward, but I can twist it out to a sort of a 45 degree angle if I needed to. And I'm sitting down into one side. So I'm sitting my weight back, okay? And see how I'm keeping this left leg. So I'm stepping out to my right here. I know in the camera it looks like I'm stepping to my left. But I'm stepping to my right, okay? And then my left leg here is staying straight. So my left leg there is staying straight and I'm coming up onto my heel. So see how my toes are off the ground now? And I'm sitting my weight back into that right hip, okay? And then I'm gonna go again. So I push all the way out to my right, I sit into that squat, and then I push back off on my right leg. So my right knee, uh, my right knee and my right glute and hip are doing all the work. So from the side, how it looks here, is I step out, and then I sit my bum back. So I'm sitting on that imaginary chair. So from the side there, it looks like I'm just doing a normal squat. But all my weight, or a lot of my weight, is pushing into one side. So remember, as we progress through this phase, we've talked about different ways to add resistance. It doesn't always have to be through weight, through external weight. It can be by actually just shifting our body weight to one leg, okay, which can be really difficult. So again, I want you guys to do two sets of six on each leg. So if you're stepping out, you're stepping out into that lateral, stepping out laterally, okay, that foot, the right foot, if I step to my right, stays flat, and I sit down as deep as I can. I might feel a bit of a stretch in this left groin down the inside of my left thigh. That's okay, that's natural, especially with new movements, and then push back up. So you're gonna push off, push back up, okay? Don't force your range of motion here. If you are using a goblet or some sort of a weight, again, hold it at your chest. Don't hold it too far away from your body and make it really difficult. The other thing too is I prefer to see you come down I prefer to see you actually almost go a bit shallower as opposed to going really deep and putting your hands on your leg like that, okay? Keep your hands free, all right? We need to keep your hands up. All right, I'm gonna have a look at your form here. It's not too bad. Jesse, just make sure that Jesse, you're already starting wide. The trick is you're actually gonna step out. So step out and sit into that squat. So don't worry about starting wide. We're not just going side to side like that. The beauty of this exercise is we're actually pushing off our left foot, stepping out and then pushing back up, okay? That's good, good form. Most, most of you guys are picking that up really, really well. Get those hands off those legs though, Zave. Good, nice wide one. Remember to come up onto that heel, okay? So whichever foot is off the ground, oh, sorry, whichever foot is not weighted. So if I step to my right, my left foot, it's easier if I turn my heel and I actually turn and point my toes up to the roof. It opens up my hip a little bit and helps me get a little bit deeper to my right. Good guys. So two sets of steps going really well. Keep working. Good job. Good Zach, that's good. Depth is not so important in this movement. It's just the ability to be able to push off and then push back up to a standing position as if we're trying to change directions really quickly. So Jack, just face the camera for me, mate, and show me one quickly. You just look like you, I'm not sure what you're for. Now face the camera. No, so stepping sideways, so face the camera, and just step out directly to your right or whichever way you're going, and sit down. You should still, your chest should still stay facing forward. That's better. Yep, that's good, that, that doesn't look too bad. 
Still imagine like you're sitting on a chair, guys. So you're still sitting your weight back into your hip a little bit. That's good, Fletch. That's not too bad. Don't go too wide. Remember to come up onto that heel. So whichever foot is where the weight is not, you know, if you're stepping to your right, then you can come up onto your left heel a little bit. Good job, guys. Two sets of six. I know we're introducing some new stuff tonight, but that's what was promised at this Thursday night session. Introducing you guys to some new movements. Stuff that's going to really benefit you, but also challenge you a little bit. Someone got a question? No. No, good job. All right, two sets of six of that. Going well. Who's got their mic on? Good job, guys. Well done. That was good. All right, what we're going to do next, we're going to do some upper body. Okay? We're going to do some upper body. So, what I want to do here, if you've got, um, what can we do? Actually, if you've got, we're going to do, it's, it's sort of core, it's sort of combination of core and upper body. So, it's shoulder stability, uh, but it's also a plank position. So, we come down into our plank. Okay, but we're on our hands, so we're in a push-up position, all right? The beauty of this exercise is we're working our core, but we're really working our shoulders as well. So, what we're going to do in this plank, okay, is we're going to come up onto our toes, but you can do it on your knees as well. So, if you, if you preferred push-up position is on your knees with your hips locked in, that's okay. We come to here, and we're doing shoulder taps, okay? So, we're shifting our weight, all right? So, very similar. Okay, very similar to our single leg arabesque, all right? We're shifting our weight. We're having to balance and centralize ourselves with one hand off the ground in that plank position. What I don't want to see, or what I want you to try and avoid, this isn't going to be picture perfect tonight, especially if it's your first time doing it, but what I'm hoping we don't see is when I get my right hand off the ground, I shift my body and I, I turn to face my body to the right just because I'm on my left hand, okay? Even though my, my weight is clearly unevenly distributed, we want you to still try and maintain a fairly solid plank. So again, I come back to that bowl of water on your lower back, okay? Bowl of water on your lower back. We're gonna go, okay? We're gonna do 10 taps, okay? So you come up into that push-up position. One, two, three, four, and so on until you get to 10. Don't rush it, okay? So make the tap nice and slow, reset your push up, tap your shoulder, reset your push up, tap the other one. If you want an extra challenge, add a push up in between. If you want a bit of an upper body challenge, so you would start with a push up, one, shoulder tap right, two, shoulder tap left hand, okay? Three, shoulder tap right. Okay, two sets of 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work, guys. Remember, remember, we've got, don't rush those shoulder taps, Maddie. Don't rush them. Good work. Don't rush them, Reed. Don't rush them, mate. Nice and easy, Reed. Nice and easy with the shoulder taps. So the ability, the beauty is, and we'll work on this a bit tomorrow too with Pilates, the idea is that we're able to come into these athletic positions and we put ourselves in in a game. Okay, so it might be on a single leg, we land like that. Okay? All right? But instead of landing stiff-legged, okay, and our core not activated, because of the stuff we do here, we're used to landing on a single leg, all right, and bending our knees, bending our hips, activating our glutes, cause firing and switched on, all right? Because we know how it looks when you don't do that stuff, you land on one leg and you fall over, all right? And it's those fine little details, that attention to detail is gonna set you apart. That balance, the ability to balance, land on a single leg, push off athletically on a single leg um, and, and stabilize your body is, is going to put you in a really good position. So let's do our second set now of these shoulder taps. So again, we're in a push-up position. 
If you want to add the challenge of a push up, go down for one, tap shoulder, down for two, tap other shoulder, down for three, tap other shoulder, make sure you're locking in your glutes, locking in your core the whole time. So four, five, don't rush that shoulder tap. Remember, hold, you want to hold on one hand. You want to have, we want to have you sort of frozen on one hand for a little bit. Working on that core strength on one, on one hand. I know it's tough. You can shift your weight a little bit. Shift your weight across a little bit. But then over time, try and work it so that you're not shifting your weight at all. Once you've done those, grab a quick drink. Hopefully you guys can see my cones here that I'm setting up. If you don't have a lot of space, that's okay. I know some of you are working with brothers and sisters as well, so don't stress too much, but just do the best you can with the space you've got. We're just gonna finish off with just a little bit of cardio. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just get the heart rate up. Two or three sets of 30 seconds. I'm just going to move my camera back a little bit. Hopefully you can see my foam roller. Or you can see the top of it there. So I've made a bit of a triangle here. Again, you don't need cones. If you've got a drink bottle, drink bottle, stick, whatever you've got is fine. I'm right in the middle of my little triangle here. So to my right, I've got a cone. To my left, I've got a cone. All right, I can push them out a little bit. I can see in the camera there. You guys can see them. All right, you guys can put your cones as far away as you like. I don't mind, I don't need to be able to see your cones, I trust you. You can do this inside, it doesn't even matter if your cones are a meter apart, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna be for 30 seconds, okay? We're gonna be down, we're gonna start in the middle. So this is always our starting and our finishing point, okay? In the middle of the two back cones, so the base of the pyramid, all right? When I say go, all right, when I say go here, we're pit apart. All right, so we're down the defensive stance, we're pitter patter. I'm going to assign numbers to all three of these markers. All right, so let's say number one is to my left. You're all down pitter patter, and I say one. Okay, I've got to slide, touch the cone, and slide back to the middle and pitter patter again. All right, let's say the foam roll at the front there is two. I've got to sprint, so I'm going to take a quick couple of steps and close out, and then back pedal and pitter patter again, all right? Obviously that there would be three, okay? So let's go with that. Those are our markers. So your left marker is one. So directly to your left is one. Opponent at the front there, okay? Opponent at the front there is number two. So I close out high hand and then back pedal. And then to my right here is number three. So if, you're, if you hear three, push off, come back. All right, so you've got to be able to hear me. I'm going to take you through it now. 30 seconds of work. I've got my timer, everyone up, ready to go. Hopefully you've got a little bit of space. All right, everyone up, ready to go. Here we go. Three, two, one, and one. Good, we should be pitter-pattering. Back to the middle and pitter-patter. Back to the middle and pitter-patter. Let's go, fast feet. Two. Close out forward, close out forward, close out back pedal. Good job. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Good job. One, slide, get down low, slide to one. Good, get down low and slide to one. Come back to the middle and pitter patter, stay low. Good job. Three, so push off right, touch, pitter patter. Good job, stay low, stay ready. Here we go, five seconds. Two, so close out middle, pitter patter, hands high and back pedal. Good job. All right, rest, come out. Just stand up. If you need a drink, get a drink. We're gonna do three. We're gonna do three sets. You've only got about 20 seconds rest. So we're gonna be pretty quick and short and sharp here. Good work, guys. I know some of you are working with minimal space. That's okay, don't stress. Make the most of it. 
Uh, here we go, we're ready to go again in five seconds. Everyone up, ready to go in five seconds. Let's get the heart rate up again. Three, two, one. Here we go, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Stay down low, bend your knees, get down low. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Two, close out. Sprint at me, sprint at me, close out, back pedal. Good job, pitter patter. Three, slide right, get down in the stance, slide right, touch the cone. Good job, pitter patter. So we're reacting. Two, go forward, good. Pitter patter back, 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 back. Stay low in that pitter patter, arms wide. So arms wide, ready. One, here we go, slide left. Get low and slide left, good. We've got to react, here we go. Two, close out, close out, close out. There we go, good job and back pedal. Well done, pitter patter, we've got one more, pitter patter. Here we go, two again, go, go, go. Sprint forward, get into a proper stance and relax, good job. Good job, have a quick breath, have a quick breather. We've got one more to go. So now what I'm gonna do for this last one, I'm gonna add a couple of combos. So I might say two, one. Okay, if I say two, one, I'm here, I'm pitter patter. I've got to close out, back pedal. Okay, and then I've got to go, I've got to go to one. So I've got to get low and down into a stance and slide, okay? I might go, uh, I might go, I might go three, two. Okay, so I'm pitter patter. I hear three, two, I'm sliding to the third, back to the middle, and then close out high, and then back pedal again. All right? Here we go. Finish off strong. Don't worry about the space you've got. Worry about, it's, this is more about reaction time, okay? If you've got a bit of space, and you can get a huff and puff in, that's good. If you don't have that much space, just try and react to my voice as quickly as possible, all right? Here we go, three, two, one. Here we go, one. Good, back to a pitter patter. Touch the cone, back to a pitter patter. Two, one. So close out forward, good, back to your left. Good, slide all the way. If you don't have that far, don't just lunge and reach for the marker or slide your foot to it. Here we go. Three, one. Good, all the way across and pitter patter. Stay low, stay low, stay low. 15 seconds to go, let's work. Two, three. Oh, got you thinking, don't just lunge. Use your feet, shift your feet. Got you thinking there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Two, one. Don't just lunge forward, Cam, pitter patter. Get your foot all the way out, get all the way out and close out. I know you don't have much space. Keep working, let's go. Here we go. One, two. Good, good, and close. Good, and here we go, last one. Pitter patter, stay low, get low, get low, pitter patter. Good job. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Stay low, stay low. Back to the middle, close out. Back to the middle. Yeah, good, back to the middle and rest. Great work, guys. Great work, so I'll bring my camera forward again. If you've got to go, you've got to go, head off. We're just over, uh, we're just past 6.30. If you want to do some quick mobility, do some quick mobility. Grab your foam roller. So guys, that's three and a half minutes. Four minutes, I'm gonna build stuff like that in. I might even, next week, uh, I might even have like color coding. So I might just have three different color cones and go yellow, red, green is a different thing. So traffic light system, just to change things up a little bit, give you guys some different stimulus to respond to. If you've got a roller, let's do a glute quickly. If you've got to go, head off. If you're leaving, don't forget tomorrow's body and mind session. Should be a laugh for everyone watching me take yoga and Pilates. Should be a bit of fun, even if you just want to tune in and watch me try and take yoga and Pilates. I can see you there, Matt. I expect you to tune in to Body and Mind tomorrow morning, mate. Should be good. Uh, glute, foam roll, five on each leg. Okay, control your breathing. I've got my left leg, so I'm on my left ankles up on my right knee. ITB now, so on the side. Side of my knee, so I don't come all the way down to the joint. I go just above, so where my quadriceps sort of ends. But I'm on my side, back and forth, all the way up to my hip. Making sure we're foam rolling soft tissue. If you're foam rolling on a bone, you're doing it wrong. So foam roll soft tissue. So roll it over, left leg. Great job tonight, guys, really good. Bit of hard work bit of paying attention. I know you guys are probably getting a bit sick of uh, taking instructions over Zoom, so I promise to, on the Thursday night, I'll keep trying to change it up a little bit. 
do something a bit different each, each Thursday night. I'll try and give you a bit of a heads up if we do something different each week. Here we go. And ankle, uh, sorry, and calves, last one, calves. Can everyone, when we come to the camera to finish off the session, can everyone give me a thumbs up if they can juggle? Give me a thumbs up if you can juggle. Use the emoji. I want to see how many of you can juggle. We might do, might build that in that into our warm up at some stage. We'll do a juggling. Bit of hand eye coordination, bit of dexterity. Get your brains working a little bit too in these sessions. All right. We've just done our calves. Nah, Chase. <laughs> Chase can't juggle. Oh, maybe I'll teach you guys to juggle. It's a good one to practice. All right, if you want to do mobility to finish off, remember we've got our calves. So we've got our calf pumps against the wall. Okay, so you can just you can just push the wall over if you want, or you can go both legs back like this and just pump your calves. So just bend one knee and then the other. All right, good job. What have we got there? Fletcher, can you juggle? You can, all right. Maybe we'll, maybe a bit of show and tell next week. You can show everyone, you can take a juggling class. Hey guys, all right, we're gonna finish up there. You can't juggle? Okay, maybe we can, maybe we practice next week. We get three tennis balls before the session. Juggle with two balls. Okay, fair enough, I like it. That's where you gotta start. Just start with two balls and get the rhythm of the parabolas. Then you throw that third one in and it's just about timing. Trust me, the more mistakes you make in doing this stuff, the better, all right? Maddie, you can with four. Now, <laughs> that I would like to see. We can't, we can't like, um, have any tennis balls because our dogs destroy them. Your dogs destroy them? Yeah. Your dad can because he's amazing, Zach. Okay, it's time to, uh, it's time to take the iPad back off Luke now, I think. Um, that's terrific. All right, yeah, my dog steals them as well when I do it. She's, um, she's an absolute demon. So maybe I'll let her get involved. So she's a bit interesting. So guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sure you've got to go and uh, finish off some study, read, uh, do what you need to do, uh, have dinner. But remember, tomorrow morning, body and mind. I'm taking it tomorrow morning. It might be my first and last time. Um, and then for you guys, tomorrow night, Sir Ray Taylor, who's a Southside Flyers player, also NBL One women's player. She'll be terrific. And then Monday night, Monday night, we've got Kira Rowe. Uh, Kira Rowe is just signed with Sydney Uni. Uh, she's taking the session Monday night, which is our girls only session. So that'll be really good as well for, for the girls. Um, Kira, Kira actually let slip this morning that she's, she's, a, she's just newly been uh, finished her Pilates uh, instructor course too. So she might take Pilates next, month, uh, next Friday morning instead of me. So I might be one and done. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your night. Thank See you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good on you guys. Bye. See you later.